Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and the cheapest coins anywhere, make sure you guys check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerk's going at you today with another Madden Ultimate Team video and today we have another triple gameplay. We have LTD, Career Tribute, Big Ben. We also have got Von Miller and Charlie Joyner. Now I don't give a shout out to Eli for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys have a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid, make sure you guys are sub to channel, to Nikish Blonde, and comment down below Noti Gang. And guys, today is Saturday, so we have more NBA pickums today on Underdog Fantasy. But tomorrow we have the NFL play playoffs and if you guys have not already checked out underdog or if you just haven't used a special so far throughout the playoffs there is a new special for tomorrow you only have until tomorrow when the Bengals game starts to actually go ahead and use it it is jamar chase over under one receiving yard so it's pretty much a guaranteed hit right you'd expect chase to get two receiving yards so use code search match first positive up to hundred dollars i will be running some private drafts you guys today over on twitter uh, if you guys want to go ahead hop into those follow me on twitter i also tweet out my picks every single night for the nba nfl whatever and I'll tweet out my NFL picks for tomorrow, tonight. So follow me over there. So let's go over these cards. Now, one thing I do want to say about this Ben, guys, he has the third worst release in the game. I have been tweeted, though, people saying that his release doesn't feel that bad. So we're going to test it out. You know, he does have the third worst. It's Trevor Lawrence's release. It's slightly better than Tebow, and Tebow is just atrocious. But Ben Roethlisberger, 82 speed. So yes, he gets a skate artist. 97 throw power, 98 short, 98 medium, 94 deep, 83 acceleration. Uh, on the run, of course, nothing absolutely nothing there but i am running omaha on him and guys he does have four ability buckets and he does have three tier three buckets so you can run if you want to you know hara master you can run protected escape artist gunslinger you can kind of run a combination of the four but if you run escape gunslinger and hara master that's all of your ap you're done you just have nothing else to use on offense so i'm not doing that we're running escape artist and gunslinger and uh, you'll see exactly what we have on Joiner. So Escape Artist and Gunslinger are going to be really interesting to see. And then we have Charlie Joiner with 99 speed, 96 excel, 99 deep route running with 96 catch and traffic, 97 spec catch. He's only 5'11", but after the catch, he's really good. 97 spin, 97 juke, 97 change direction, 94 break tackle, 66 run block, and 65 impact block. He's got a case to be the best wide receiver in the game. You could definitely say he's the best wide receiver in the game. Now we're running Yak him up on him. And because he is a slot receiver, he gets slot apprentice for one AP. So that's why, you know, if you run Howrah Master, then, you know, you would get pretty much slot apprentice on Charlie Joyner. You'd get all the hot routes there, whatever. But I would rather just use slot apprentice on Joyner and then have one other AP to use elsewhere. Now, I don't even use slot apprentice normally, but because it's a slot receiver, I feel like I should probably use that for the gameplay. And for those guys that are curious, here is Team Cams, and yes, he does get Chargers times three because of his Team Diamond card. And then we've got Von Miller, but I will let you guys know I'm actually running Von Miller a right outside linebacker because I have Micah at left, and Micah doesn't have secondary positions to put him at uh, left or right outside linebacker. So we are running Von Miller at right outside linebacker in this gameplay, but still, same thing. 93 speed, 95 excel, 89 strength, 97 block shed, 97 power move, 95 finesse move. The card looks insane. Uh, he's also got 94 hit power, so he's just going to be ridiculous ridiculous now in terms of abilities obviously you don't really need an x factor right it just doesn't really make sense to give one to him if he gets three sacks that'd be insane but normally you're just not gonna get three sacks but we are running unpredictable now i usually don't use any defensive line abilities but people are telling me the unpredictable is really really good now obviously you know you could run like edge threat elite on him or uh, just edge threat for two AP, but unpredictable is only one AP, and I've been hearing people say it's ridiculous. Of course, Broncos and Rams cam, and if you guys are curious, right to linebacker, as I said, left end and right end, let's get into it. Looking to take your game of Madden 22 to another level? Make sure to check out HotRoute.Tips, get access to eBooks, tips, and schemes from Madden pros. Use code ZERK for 10% off. Let's dominate Weekend League. So let's get into this. As you guys can see, that's my opponent's top three. He's got Unitas, Humphrey, and CMC. And there's my top three. All right, so right off the bat, I want to try to go to Charlie Joyner deep 
Now, as much of a joiner gameplay as this is, it's also a bend gameplay. So, you know, if he's not open, I'm not necessarily going to, you know, force the ball to him. But we've got him open deep here. Charlie Joiner, very first play and a huge gain. And that release was really bad. Yeah, I could tell instantly this is not Derrick Henry throwing the ball. Like, literally right on that play, you could tell that release is pretty slow definitely feels a little bit slow as ooh, i wanted to go to joiner like can we can we escape we have a skate bar just throw it across our body that was a nice throw to their waddle for a couple of yards it felt like the escape artist took a second to activate there but yeah you can definitely tell with the release this is uh not necessarily derrick henry throwing the football anymore as i don't really see much open he's got a spy this is so funny he's got a qb spy set up and i'm using ben roethlisberger why did i throw that why did I force that? I did not need to do that. That was so bad. And he's going to get a pick six off me. Thank God he did it. That was terrible. Listen, okay. It's not a Xerxes gameplay unless I do something really, really bad. And that was really, really bad, right? I tried to force the ball to Charlie Joyner in the back of the end zone when really all you need to do in that situation is throw the ball away. That is the stuff that I do in gameplays that makes me lose games. So uh, let's not do that anymore as we get some pressure. He's going deep and we're going to get the ball right back. Sean Taylor thank you very much so listen let's just act like nothing happened okay i didn't throw an interception let's just act like this is the start of the game here and uh charlie joiner has like 60 yards for no apparent reason we'll just we'll just say that as we do have x open underneath jalen waddle again great catch now once again i want to go deep i definitely want to try to throw the ball deep here so we are looking to go to joiner he gave it to me again we got it. We got it. Joiner way down the field. 99 speed. Yeah, he's he's quite the deep uh, deep route runner. Charlie Joiner once again getting open all the way down to the goal line now. I mean, he's definitely a big play machine, which unfortunately so, we're going to get sacked. Now, if I'm doing a running back gameplay, I think being down in the goal line is pretty easy, but I know you guys want to see me pass the ball in the goal line. And I always seem to uh, falter down here, but luckily we don't that time. We get Joiner into the end zone. So Charlie Joiner into the end zone. He's over a hundred yards for sure, right? Like definitely over a hundred yards. Is he's gonna go? To oh, nice little spin move, McCaffrey. Hopefully Von Miller can get something going though. I really want to see Von come out here and make a play. Also, you'll notice that I do have Daniel Hunter uh, with Unpredictable as well. As I just saw Von coming around the edge there, we're gonna get to him. He does have Johnny Unitas. However, my opponent actually isn't using Escape Artist on him. He's using using Howard Master and Gunslinger, so, I mean, I don't have to put up a contain. But Unitas does have some pretty good speed, so we'll see exactly how much my opponent scrambles. Second and one would not be surprised to see a run here. Definitely would not be surprised, and he's not going to run the ball. I'm going to look out for the running back, and I had Diggs in the flats there. Somehow, we've got the pick. Now, I did have Diggs set to play in the flats there, which he got carried up the field, but somehow we uh got the glitchy interception maybe a little bit of a bailout perhaps but oh we almost picked that see now right there though i think you guys kind of saw it a little bit right like the release is pretty slow like being able to throw that route right there usually it wouldn't even be close to an interception with the timing of me throwing that route but it's a pretty slow release now of course when you're used to throwing with like derrick henry every release is gonna feel slow but yeah, this one definitely is a major difference as we're down to the 29-yard line. We're going to have Joiner open underneath. I'm going to try to do something after the catch with him. Hit a couple of spin moves, pick up some extra yards. So Joiner is already at 154 yards right now. So yeah, we're absolutely cooking with him as we're going to have Darren Waller open. That's a beautiful throw. Waller got cracked. And you can kind of tell now that I think my opponent is looking at Joiner like he knows I want to go to him here. But we're still going to go to him, hit him in the flats, hit a juke move, and in for the second TD. Joiner now with two touchdowns. I mean, that card's good. Like I told you guys, I thought that I would like the card, and I absolutely do like the card. He just reminds me a lot of Jalen Waddle. Like I said, I don't know what it is about him, but something about him just really reminds me of that Waddle. I think it's probably because they're very comparable sizes with 99 speed, great after the catch, and uh, 99 deep route running. They just play really, really similar, and I like them both. So we'll see if we can't get him the ball a little bit more. I would love to get him over 200 yards. I think he's at like, what, 160 or so now, as this guy loves to throw the tight end, and he's gonna take off with Unitas. So, so far, nothing out of Von Miller, but you know what? Sometimes that just happens when you do pass rusher gameplays, as I saw he was gonna go there. Derwin James with the interception you know maybe he's getting pressures and i'm just not seeing him. now once again i am gonna try to go deep here to join her but i'm kind of curious to see is he gonna try to lurk on it because i feel like he knows 
that I'm trying to throw to Joiner, but whoa, that was under pressure and accurate. All right, so we got an under pressure and accurate there, and Joiner definitely was open. I feel like that would have been a uh, completion right there. And once again, he's trying to use her on it. That was a bad pass again. Yeah, I, I didn't even see John Lynch there, to be honest with you guys. I was just trying to force the ball in, and I was watching his user, and I saw him come down for a second, and I just threw it. Once again, me forcing passes, trying to get more receiving yards with the players for the game plays, which some of you guys definitely like that I do that, and other people just think that I have uh, very bad reads, which is still true, but usually not that bad. Somebody actually tweeted at me, by the way, last night and said, uh, can we get an underdog fantasy line for over under 0.5 interceptions thrown in the Big Ben gameplay? Well, you would have smashed that. Eventually, I'm going to learn how to get somebody open and not just force the ball to them and throw eight picks a game, but that day is not today as he's going to try to reroute him, and that's a great catch. All right, so halftime now. We're up 14 to 7, but we could have been up a lot more if I didn't, you know, uh, throw two interceptions trying to force the ball to join her, but it is what it is. It was bound to happen as did. Oh, okay, okay, Diggs, you're just not gonna get the tackle, cool. I really wanna see Von Miller do something right there off that left edge. You know, sometimes the game plays, you just don't have enough time to make a play, so I'm gonna look out for that, come back up, and okay, I just didn't think he was gonna scramble. I might actually have to put up a spy for Unitas. He doesn't have a skate artist, like I said, but I mean, he is scrambling around quite a bit here, as I know what he's gonna try to go to. It's not gonna be open, though, and he's gonna throw it away. Throw it. Throw it! Sean Taylor with the interception. Let's go, Sean. Sean Taylor is just always making plays for me. I absolutely love it. And once again, we're going to have Joiner open underneath. Nice little juke move. You guys can see he's super good after the catch. I'm definitely loving the Joiner card for sure, as we just have just about everybody open here. Justin Jefferson first down. Let's see maybe if I can just get the ball to him on this little quick route. And yup, he's going to be open underneath once again. Just yards after catch. Might even be able to just hit him right here on this drag route, which it looks like he's going to use her on, but he can't off of it to guard the tight end joiner he just completely dove and missed as of right now joiner's got nine catches for 199 yards and two tds so i would love to get him catch number 10 right here and there it is catch 10 and what is that three tds two tds 200 yards so this gameplay is definitely going pretty well for charlie joiner you know we may have thrown a couple of interceptions with ben and uh, I'm not the biggest fan of his release, but we're making plays with him. You know, he gets a skate artist, gets some pretty good abilities, as I know he's going to try to go to the running back. Now maybe he's still going to throw something down the field. Sertain coming away with the interception. Let's go. So now Patrick Sertain coming away with the INT. You love to see it. Now, again, I, I kind of want to throw deep here, maybe, to join her. It really just depends on how that safety plays. And yeah, he's not about to be open. And I don't really see much open here. Can I take off with Ben? Tried to. I uh, tried to take off with Ben. That really did not work too well. I have a skate artist, but he's still, for some reason, uh, it doesn't really seem to be moving too fast. Just offensively, this gameplay is going pretty good with Joiner, but uh, Von Miller hasn't done anything yet, I don't believe. So that's kind of unfortunate. Now, had we gotten our opponent to maybe like a you know third and long, whatever, where my opponent had to hold the ball a little bit. Maybe Vaughn would be able to make some better plays, but Joiner once again, open here. Great blocks. Ooh, I tried to, like, juke it to the outside there, too. So it's safe to say that I am absolutely loving this Charlie Joiner card as we're down to the 36 here. We got Waller open, just gonna take those easy couple yards. And now that we've really just been going underneath, like, this entire drive, now is where we try to go to Joiner on, like, a deep post route. And he's not gonna be open, but we do have Waller open. Dion almost made a play on that. If we could get Joiner into the end zone one last time, I think that would make this gameplay just insane as i mean look at him after the catch now this is going to be kind of hard to maybe squeeze one into joiner here but he's got 12 catches for 238 yards and i'm looking to go to him joiner again another td and my opponent is out of it the big ben gameplay i mean ben's release right number one his speed he's only got 82 speed his throwing stats are good, right? He was accurate. He did have the one throw under pressure, which is pretty interesting because he has 95 throw under pressure there. But uh, if you're used to using a quarterback with a pretty fast release, you guys saw it. Like, you will notice the release is different. You absolutely will notice. So, to me, I'm not a big fan of the card. I think Derrick Henry's much better. I think there are a lot of quarterbacks I would rather have over Ben. Now, if you want to get him NCAT, you know, it's only like 150K. But... You could also get Derrick Henry for pretty cheap too. So just my take on it. Not the greatest fan of, uh, not the biggest fan, I should say, of the Big Ben card. But Charlie Joyner, incredible card. Love that card. It is 
Potentially the best wide receiver in the game. I absolutely love that card. Von Miller didn't do anything in the gameplay, but you know he's going to be a beast. Sometimes it just happens. You know, if I do defensive game plays, sometimes a corner doesn't get thrown at. Sometimes pass rushers don't really do anything. You know, my opponent was kind of throwing a lot of underneath stuff and wasn't really holding on the ball too long. So I don't really blame Von Miller. You know that card's going to be good. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, though. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. See you guys next time.